Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. I know it's a little odd me posting a video two days in a row, but uh, I just had something else that I couldn't wait to show you. We got this 2019 Lance 855S in. It is used being a 2019 model. This one is listed at $39,900. I know you probably thought that a uh, you know lance 855s under 40 grand didn't exist but it does it's here sitting on my lot ready to go uh, we've actually had it here a couple weeks or more maybe three weeks or something like that just haven't got around to uh, making a video and posting it this camper right here is designed for a three quarter ton or one ton short bed so that would be like your six and a half six and three quarter uh, foot bed models uh ford chevy dodge gmc doesn't matter um should fit them all the weight on this one is 3376 pounds dry and 3665 pounds wet all right i got all the basics out of the way we'll start doing our little walk around here uh, on the nose you'll notice that the uh, graphics have decided to you know take flight rip up and everything but for the low cost of $20,000 more, you can get a brand new one. Uh, so we've got all electric jacks around all four corners. They are the happy jacks, not the Atwoods that like to crap the bed. Uh, let's see, behind door number one, we've got two 20 pound propane tanks. That's gonna power your furnace. Um, you can run your fridge off of gas. Uh, let's see, your stove top. I believe that's about it probably forgetting something right here hiding behind this door is going to be where you fill your fresh water tank uh, that does allow you to take 30 gallons of fresh water on the go here on the side is going to be our 30 amp plug-in behind the door that says hot that's going to be our water tank service area and then for all my folks that like to give the other campers a show, you got an outdoor shower. Hot and cold water, how about that? Underneath uh, the camper here on the side, where's it at on this one? Right here. This is gonna be where you plug in your city water. This right here is where you flush your poop tank. And that's gonna be your parking satellite connections. Then of course over here, this little small passage door, this is gonna be the drop for your cold and hot water lines, your fresh water tank, your gray and black water. That all leads out the black pipe right there. Comes out the bottom. This camper is four season certified. It's got the all weather package, which allows you to camp in all conditions. Here on the back, it's got the manual rear awning option, the docking lights, patio lights, backup camera, the good old Lance logo, can't leave that off. Let's see, there it is. That right there says 3,331, that's a little off. The inside number is what you go by, I'll show you that here in a little bit. But uh, it does have the onboard propane ran generator. That's one thing that I forgot to tell you that the uh, tanks run. The uh, Onan generator, it's the 2500 LP. Then you got the little fold down step. When it's on the truck, it makes it easier to get into. That should be about it for the back. I don't think I left anything out. As you can see, I ain't hiding nothing gonna point out everything we got a rip over here on the uh, slide out cover and on this side this camper originated from Florida so I'd say it gets pretty windy there and that's probably what caused that don't really know don't really care I just know that it probably would cost about three four hundred dollars to replace but with this camper booking between 42 and 48,000 you got plenty of room to do all that good stuff all right a part of the four season package you have the insulated doors here it's got a little magnetic strip to hold it up got a compartment over here 
and a compartment over here in the slide out on the opposite side is going to be your pull out drawers so you have heat supplied to these um, outdoor storage compartments and then the insulated doors to help them you know retain that heat got the outdoor speaker so we can take off the neighbors and here's a side view from the passenger side I believe I forgot to point out this little external propane connection sure did there it is and that's about it for the uh, exterior of the camper five minutes and 40 seconds not really bad I believe that's one of my fastest walk arounds uh, to date let's go to the roof all right here we are on the roof fully walk on roof Lance makes a very sturdy roof I don't know how many more times I'm gonna say roof but uh, let's see we got a new skylight here the other one had a little crack in it so we replaced that other one seemed to be fine Dometic 10k AC unit solar panel auto satellite dish all right i don't know what else to show you up here oh yeah it's got the uh land slow rack system very cool all right so here we are walking on the inside of the camper one thing i wish they would add to this camper is a pull out drawer right here if they can make this a little bit bigger um like your 975 995 1062 has they all have that little pull out drawer there adds for a great amount of storage but sure there's a reason that this one doesn't have it there's probably holding tanks or something behind it uh, all your switches are right here on the right one as you walk in so this one being a 2019 model i believe this brown interior is called roadster um i believe they have roadster passage and mystic shores as an option for 2019 it does have a little bit of wear on it looks like it's just I only see it right here on the corner this one doesn't look to have any let me take my sunglasses off that one's pretty good but it does have a little bit of wear here as you uh, slide on to the dinette like I said I'm not going to hide anything I'm going to try to show you what I can see in this video uh, this dinette I had it written down i believe it's 44 by 71 inches yep so you can also make this into a bed uh it'll sleep one person comfortably they say that you can put two on it i'm not sharing this with anybody else i'm sorry it's 44 by 71 inches then you've got your pull out drawer here backup camera uh something i hope you never have to use there that's the manual crank for your slide out and jacks got the uh, storage covers for the skylights and not that bathroom vent then you got these little locks to hold that in place so it don't slide out while you're driving we've got a fold down bunk that uh, allows for up to 200 pounds uh, you can, you know, put your uh, child up there, uh, let them have a little bunk bed to stay in, or you can use it for storage while uh, going down the road. Here's our wall control for the good old AC unit here to keep us cool in these hot summer months. I believe this is the five cubic foot fridge made by Norcold. Here is our 60 by 80 inch mattress. It's a true queen size. We've got the swing out TV over here on the left with the radio right up underneath it. Radio doesn't play Blu-ray. I don't know how many videos I need to make of you know, these truck campers to get Blu-ray in uh, these Lance truck campers, but I'll keep doing it until they do. We'll flip up cabinet over here to the right pull out drawer with a little uh end table i guess you could call it on the left let's see we got any plugins up here yep 
So CPAP users, you've got 110 outlets over here on the left or right and on the left, as well as USB ports and a DC plug-in. Lance did good on that. Let's see, here's our closet. More cranks. Little closet rod. All right, that's pretty much it up there in the bedroom. Oh, and then you got your little night lights or reading lamps or, I believe that's what they're called, their uh, reading lamps. Okay, we've uh, made it to the kitchen here. So a lot of people wish that they had um, the sinks like the larger models. This one's a separated um, elevated lip sink. Uh, double sink, I believe is the correct term for it if we're you know using correctness. Uh, you have a little bit of space behind it for your Keurig, crock pot or Instapot, air fryer, whatever you want to plug in. You got to plug in up there, um, but not much prep area. So I guess you'd have to use your little dinette table there for prep. Three burner stove top with an oven. What's underneath here? Some storage below the sink here for all your cleaning equipment or whatever you want to put in there. Microwave. It's pretty much just a standard size microwave. A little uh, space for your pots and pans and all that good stuff. Over here is where I get my weights. If you can see that, I don't know how well this camera does with a little fine print here, but I'm um, looking right here, 3,665 pounds wet, take away 289 pounds, and that gives you a total of 3,376 pounds dry. If your truck can haul it, it can haul it. If it can't, it, it can I don't have a crystal ball giving me you know a magic number that tells me what your you know trucks payload is so always check your door jams make sure you got the proper truck truck to do the job I know that this right here isn't by Lance this is fully custom made that's a elevated surface gives you a little bit more uh, practicality with um, your storage space here you could use it as a second closet or you could use it as a pantry. Plenty of room for Dorito bags in there, for show. I, I bet you could even fit a case of beer in there. And then another on top and another on top of that. I believe these are non-slam. We're going to test it. Yep. And then, this is not a storage compartment. What kind of compartment is it? We've got access to our six gallon water heater back there. Your bypass is going to be under there. And then your other bypass for winterizing is going to be underneath the kitchen sink. All right, so what I do like about this camper right here is the fully enclosed fiberglass uh, wet bath. My camper that I had had a dry bath, but if I had to take a pick, if uh, I couldn't have a dry bath, I'm going with the fully fiberglass stand and not like the half and half. But you got, let, let's uh, see what kind of space we're working with. I'm 220 pounds. I know, big old boy. And I have room without this in here to take a shower. Sitting on the John's going to be a little tight, but you're going to be camping out with nature. Why not go with the nature, right? I'm just kidding. You could definitely use that toilet. Shower head there, bath light, sink, and I bet they, yep, there's your toilet paper holster. Hidden right out of the uh, way of all the water so you don't have a little toilet paper roll mess. And then this is on a sliding door. In the previous video, watch your head right here, you could take your noggin off. In a previous video on an 855S I did, I showed what it looks like with the slide out in. You actually can gain access to this camper with the slide out in. It's like the only Lance truck camper model that you can actually do that. So 
very awesome with this uh, camper model here being able to access while going down the road not having to run that slide out in and out um, but yeah that's pretty much it that's the 2019 Lance 855 S truck camper that we took in believe it or not we took it in on trade on another 855 S just a 2022 model they trade in every few years and if you're looking for a 2022 at a good decent price uh, check with me in about three years um but anyways yeah this camper was 39.9 very fair price and it leaves you room to you know replace the slide out cover the front graphics i mean we could do that but we've got it priced you know so low that it doesn't really make sense for us to do that but we can definitely you know help you out with cost on that anyways like i said this requires a three quarter ton or one ton truck payload police don't get in my comments and start raising cane because i'll probably just delete them um i say many times throughout the video what truck it fits if your payload's not for it your payload's not for it um i can't help that but uh 33 around 3300 pounds dry and 3600 pounds wet check your door jam make sure you got the truck for it again three quarter ton or one ton short bed that's going to be your six and a half to six and three quarter foot beds uh yeah so i should have some more campers coming in here pretty soon looking forward to that so i can get some more videos going up i started uh I've got this YouTube, I've got Facebook, I've got Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I think that's it. A lot of stuff to keep up with, but I'm trying to, you know, get as much of the product out there, give y'all a lot of content to watch. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. No, the like button. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm sorry. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch, something along those lines. You got any questions go ahead and comment or you can call me at 423-892-6272 that's the dealership's phone number here my email will also be in the description below um and if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you feel the need that you uh want to watch some more of my videos and stay with the current posts you can definitely do that by hitting the notification bell somewhere on youtube i don't know where it's at i've never hit it but i know there's an option for it so check for that um again my name's brad i'm over here at chattanooga fishing fun until next time y'all stay safe take care and i'll catch you on the next one